Welcome back to the Style South Universe. I'm Sarah Mixon, and this is my favorite designer here with me today. I'm so excited. He is my longest, dearest friend in the design world. And I'm so excited to introduce you to my friend Hilton Hollis. He's more like my Thank brother. You. <laughs> Not like my friend. He's more like my brother. Yes. Hi. Brother I'm so sister happy you're bond here. here. <laughs> <laughs> so Hilton's here from New York and he's here at Tootsie's doing a trunk show um, for his spring 2021 collection. And I I'm so, so, so impressed. Always, I'm always impressed. Thank you. With you. Thank you. But this season has just been amazing for you. Yes, it has. I mean, I, th I think one of the reasons why are people are so tired of wearing sweatpants and being at home during the pandemic. Um, and, and really, I kind of did something very different this season in that, you know, a lot of designers went very, very casual, very, very relaxed. I, on the other hand, stayed true to exactly who I am, and I really made it luxurious, I made it very polished, and very dressed up. Um, and what I'm seeing is people are now starting to get back out into the world again. They're going to graduations, they're going to spring weddings, and I have everything that they would ever desire to wear to those events. Absolutely, there's such a need right now for getting dressed up, and as you yes. said, People are, they're tired of being in their sweatpants. Burn your sweatpants. And, <laughs> please, you know, please. This collection really is quintessential Hilton Hollis. I want to talk about the, the making of Hilton Hollis because I've been there for the whole thing. Right. And um, <laughs> it's been an incredible journey for you. So it has. let's go back to the beginning. Yes. And let's tell our audience what that what where where this all comes from well you know you and i started working together um sarah was at Saks at that time working with theory my sister introduced us what was that like 20 it was 20 21 no 23 years ago 23 <gasps> years ago yeah. is how long we've known each other yeah. and we have grown taken all the baby steps in the beginning and now we're kind of running through it um, but yeah, it started um, with a very small collection right after I graduated from FIT. Um, I trained under Calvin Klein and Tim Gardner. Um, and then I worked at Dana Buckman for a while. Um, but prior to that, kind of in between, I actually started an evening wear collection, which That's is right. what we did together. Yes, we beautiful. did this amazing video down here in Atlanta. Um, like a very cool superimposed video where she was walking down these cliffs and it was like very robotic almost very cool it was very cool yeah so Sarah helped me with that and then um, fast forward I worked for a few other designers and then 16 years ago I actually started my very first collection of more you know mainstream fashion I say mainstream but it's not really mainstream um, um, but anyway yeah I started 16 years ago I have basically kind of been all over the world sourcing fabrics um, sourcing factories uh, we produce in Hong Kong Japan and Portugal and I actually live in Portugal part-time as you yes. know um, so that's been very inspiring four years ago I moved over there and really just to kind of get a refreshment of like what fashion is about and really immersing, my, immersing myself in the whole European lifestyle and understanding how Europeans dress versus the way we dress here in America. And I think that I've definitely brought some of that flair um, back to the US, which so I think is exciting. What do you think is like, you know, the biggest difference between the way uh, that Europeans dress and the way that Americans dress? I think Europeans definitely invest in their clothing. I think that they invest in core pieces and they're more about like high quality and great workmanship, which is what I strive, my, strive on being, um, is just a really well-made, very good price point. Um, and I think that they really, um, they understand that. They understand quality, they understand workmanship. So Europeans, I think they invest more money in their wardrobes with less pieces. So, and I think that your client actually in America definitely adheres to that same absolutely. Um, strategy. Yes. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Yeah, um, absolutely. And I think that your pieces are so classic and cool. You know, yeah. obviously, you know, you can always get a black dress there's always a black dress on the market. Right. But like, for instance, Hilton's black dresses will always have a little bit of a twist of some sort of, um, whether it's the fabrication that he uses or this, the, the detailing, the detailing, all of the detailing that you use. It's all in the fine detailing. Actually, the New York Times described my collection once as deceptively simple. 
And I think that really sums up what I do. It is deceptively simple because on the hanger, you might look at it and you might say, oh, this is such an easy, like, you know, simple silhouette. But then when you really start to dissect it and you really start to look at the details. All the seaming. And the workmanship. I mean, this jacket that you're wearing, yeah. for instance, is one of mine. And it's just all those beautiful little three-dimensional flowers that kind of are over this netting. Um, and those are the types of things that I do. I, I don't want to be trend oriented. I don't want to be a designer that only follows trends because I think trends can't take you more than a couple of seasons. And I think this transcends trends and it actually is something that you can have in your wardrobe for a lifetime. I mean, we always want them to buy more, but at the same time, we want people to be happy. We want them to be able to go back into their closet and have this favorite piece from Absolutely. four years ago. Which I have. That they sure. still love and adore. And you do. I like, do. I actually have been collecting Hilton since the incarnation of his um, you know, his line. And yeah. so I have pieces that are 16 years old that I still pull out of my closet and pull and <laughs> put together, you know, with something current that I'm wearing. It's very easy to do. That's, right. you know, that's the ease of what you do. My clothes won't end up in a landfill. Correct. I'll tell you that right. because they are coveted by many of my clients. And I think, you know, again, high quality fashion withstands the test of time. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's go get into some of the core pieces of your spring collection. Right. I love the color palette that you chose. Yes. I am super excited about that. So let's talk about those pieces. For, let's talk about um, the color palettes here. Sure. Um, so aloe green, any shade of green is very, very important for spring. And I personally, I mean, green is one of my favorite colors. It's my birthstone. Um, it's one of my favorite colors. A lot of women kind of shy away from green. So we tried to kind of incorporate a little bit of blue in the green. So this color here we call aloe. And think of an aloe vera plant. I think it really sums Beautiful. up what the color is. And it's a soft green that anyone can wear. And yeah. I think it has a little tinge of blue undertone in it. So blue, always a good color. I sell blue. I, I always say that I could put anything in blue and it will sell. It's true, and, <laughs> it, mean, and it does. Blue and black, I mean, what more do you need? <laughs> Um, and then the peaches and even rust for spring. I know that's a color that we don't necessarily think about for spring, but even if you just add a little bit of touch to it of that rust color, and I'm looking at this bag off camera. Sarah, I have to see this bag. <laughs> I love this bag. So look how it's incorporated those key colors of spring, the aloe here, the kind of sagey blue gray, you have the kind of rust and you have the peachy kind of cantaloupe color. Um, again, this, this sums up spring in my eyes. Goes great back to our peach Bellini gauze dress. This is an Italian fabric out of uh, the Lake Como area. I always say that I like to, I like to buy fabrics from areas of the world that are happy. Absolutely. If I lived in Lake Como, mm -hmm. I would be super happy. Um, yeah, <laughs> I imagine you would be. I imagine right. anybody would be. And a lot of my prints, they come from the Lake Como area. They come from Barcelona. They come from the South of France, which is uh, this print here on the other side of Sarah. It's this great botanical garden print with little butterflies and birds on it. And these are just things that scream spring. And I love the way those incorporate all of the ideas of rebirth and, and the excitement that spring brings, which is... And the high quality of fabric that you use. I just, I can't get over it. It really does. It lasts forever. Yeah. I, I'm, and breathable you know, and breathable, easy. Yeah. I mean, I think that's it's, another part of what um, our line incorporates is that you know, I grew up in the South. I grew up in Mississippi. Um, I've been in New York for 24 years, but I do remember always in the back of my head how my mother or my great aunt or my grandmother would say to me, oh, wow, it's so hot. And like they would have on these very like prim and proper suits or whatever it was in the middle of like, you know, heat of, uh, of the South <laughs> and the humidity. So I always think about in the back of my head, what can I design that gives you that kind of lightness, that kind of airiness that we all thrive, uh, thrive to wear in days like that. So, you know, the Bellini gauze, the cotton um, poplin, this cupro. I don't know if you guys know about cupro. It's actually, um, this is actually from a cotton seed. So they, 
fi figured out a way to take the cotton and then the cotton seed. Well, the cotton seed, they make into a fiber and then they, they actually weave it. That's amazing, so, Hilton. And it's almost cool to the touch. When you touch it, it actually has a coolness to it, which I think is so important um, for this, you know, environment and this es weather. Especially here, down, you know, down here in the Style South universe, we need to have, you know, fabrics that breathe. Absolutely. But I love that your roots are actually coming through, um, right. and you're thinking about that when you're designing your pieces. Right. So, you know, another question that I think, you know, our viewers want to know too is, you know, how how like how does it feel coming back to the south after you've been you know around the world and and you know you've been, Hilton is wildly successful everywhere you know he has a huge <laughs> market but he has a great big fan base down here in right. the south so absolutely well I mean no matter what city I'm in whether it be Atlanta or Chattanooga or Richmond I always feel like I'm at home you know I always find that perfect little spot to eat that reminds me of the south um, you know, Henri's Bakery here. <laughs> I, their chicken salad sandwich is one of my favorites, and I get the iced tea. Half sweet, half unsweetened. No s fully sweet anymore. <laughs> Got to watch the weight. But um, yeah, I mean, it's things like that that really just kind of make me feel like I'm back home. Um, and you know, I work a lot, you know, you, as you know, and you as well, like Absolutely. Sarah's a hard, hard, hard worker. And I think that's why we thrive together yes. is that we are dedicated to fashion and we're dedicated to what we do. Um, but you know, the more I travel, um, it's, it's not like I'm working. It's like, you know, you're seeing friends that yes. you've known for 20 plus years yep. and you see clients that you've had as one of your clients for 15, 16 years. I've been in business for 16. Some of my clients have literally been with me since day one. And the majority of my stores here in the South have been with me since day one. That's true. Um, Gus Meyer in, in Birmingham and Nashville and, you know, Tootsie's and Roan and Richmond and, you know, all these great stores that are institutions and Joseph in Memphis. That's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's just like coming home and it makes me feel very welcomed and warm. Well, you are welcome here. And Thank we're you. so happy that you're here. And you, you know, I think that Hilton's line really does epitomize style south so i'm so happy that you could come and join us and be thank here you. for this and i'm love really you so much it. and i'm so excited that this is thank happening you, so you. <laughs> <laughs> everybody enjoy and look for his collection online at hilton hilton